Hello everyone, this is Raheel, and today I'll be showing you how to create this neomorphism look. It's essentially a play on skeomorphism, which was used back in the day to make things look uh, photorealistic. Not photorealistic, but quite realistic to the real world. So let's get started on how we achieve this look. First, let's just make a, a new frame for now. And uh, let's set the color to the color we had over here. That's the right color. Uh, it's just like a bluish sort of tinted uh, color. You can actually have it uh, change the hue. Uh, to whatever UI design you want. Um, but let's just make it blue for now, because I, I like blue. How about we create uh, a star or something? Yeah, let's create a star. And uh, we gotta make it the same color as the background, which is very important. You can't actually have primary colors in any new morphism design, only accent colors. As you can see with this one, this button is not colored in the gradient. In fact, the uh, icon itself is the gradient. Then we're gonna create two drop shadows. And let's set their blurs at 30. And the same for this one. And we will just offset them. So, as you can see with these ones, these are two offset shadows. One is this way and one is this way. But let's just do 18. And that one is offset to the bottom right, and this one is going to be offset to the top left. And so we know this one is the bottom right, because this one was offset uh, positively. So we will get the correct color for that, which is this one. And we will get a lighter color for this one. In fact, we'll just use white on this one. We can just duplicate this frame and make a tapped state or a click state. The very easiest way to do that is just make these and turn these into an inner shadow and then there you go it just becomes a click state uh, it's very important if you are making the click state custom uh, that you have to keep the dark side on the top left and the light side on the bottom right um, otherwise it will look like uh, it's floating and that's pretty much the end of this tutorial uh, if you did like this video make sure to drop a like down below and comment if you would like to see more videos like this see ya